this evening. How y'all doing? You know, sometimes I I have history moments where something catches my eye and, you know, I have to, like, go back on it because I'm so busy thinking about something else in the context. Like, um, there was an episode a couple years ago pre-pandemic when I went stargazing at night. And one of the guys had his telescope out and he mentioned, you know, about the Big Dipper. And he said the 1930, that the Olympics suggest, you know, I said 1936 games against Hitler. And the guy was like really impressed because I said that, but I wasn't because I'm a history buff about those sort of things. I mentioned Jesse Owens because it was something that was brought to my attention that I didn't really fully read. I mean, I knew America was racist and segregated back then in Jim Crow. And I know all the sad stories about how Jesse Owens came back here, back of the bus, second class citizenship. And, you know, his life, he died only at 66 in 1980. And that was only 15 years after the civil rights and all that. So he saw the South Alabama. But what was jarring? His words, these are Jesse Owens' words. Hitler didn't snub me. Franklin D. Roosevelt snubbed me. Now you see all these presidents, people in the White House, when the Olympians come back and how they brag about America and your goal and all this. And you and you think about all the great athletes, especially African-American athletes, who've come back and all that. But then you hear, he said, Hitler didn't snub me, but Roosevelt did. That is quite a trigger. Because you can't get more hateful than Hitler. As a matter of fact, Roosevelt to Trump patterned themselves after that man. Neo-Nazi fascism. A bunch of losers, you know, trash, who still, who conveniently tell black folks to get over the past. But they hold Hitler up like he's the second coming or something. You know, you know, that's the real pandemic. That's the mental illness that infiltrates this racist country. Why it stays the way it does. Whole nother story, another program, but that's what's up. But anyway, I thought I would shed light on that because that was very haunting to hear one of the greatest athletes in any era, period, to say that. Which, when I think mm, only a few years ago when the likes of Steph Curry, LeBron James would not go to the White House because of Donald Trump. So... And you know Colin Colin Kaepernick couldn't go if he you know, so you you see deja vu. You know. You see things. But I thought that was a lesson and very telling from his own mouth. And I hold Jesse Owens in high regard. And if you don't know about him, you better learn about him. But that was a very powerful statement. And this only happened eighty six years ago which is somebody's lifetime, as we speak, somebody's great-grandparent or grandparent or however it is, or got, you know, if you got a relative who can lay, lay claim and bear to that. I can't make this up, and you can let Google be your friend to find it out. It's there. Please give me your thoughts and takes about Jesse Owens saying, Hitler didn't snub me, but Roosevelt did. I welcome thoughts and comments. Please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another, and you can always learn a history lesson. The problem is is when people repeat it and then try to whitewash it and act like it never happened.